Hi, I'm Professor Gregory Mortensen, Theater Arts, Long Beach City College. Some of you familiar with our work, some have never heard of us. Well, we're about to change that with our current production called Kill Me Deadly. It's a spoof of the 1940s film noir detectives and has all the requisite elements of crime, passion, love, booze, criminals, did I say booze, and fast-moving cars with fast-moving women. Something for the whole family. So please, come and enjoy. And for an added pleasure, I would like to introduce you to some of our students who are involved in this production and are all theater majors in our department. We felt it was time that uh, the community saw what they're paying for, for Long Beach City College and the arts. And just to find out how much it has affected positively these young people's lives. So without further hubbub, here they are. My name is Melinda Del Toro, and I'm from Buena Park, California. My name is Jason Bowe, and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. My name is Paige Laney, and I'm from Long Beach, California. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Benyon, and I'm from Compton, California. Hi, I'm Kevin Guadamus, and I'm from Long Beach, California. Hi, I'm Kenny Nauta, and I'm from Long Beach, California. First question for you, Melinda. Um, what got you into theater here at Long Beach City? I was actually a music major, and I took a Tart 1 class. That's our theater arts acting one? Yes. Okay. And I just fell in love with being different people on stage. Great. And who are you currently being on stage? I am Mona Livingston from Kill, Kill Me Deadly. Kill Me Deadly. That's the current production and rehearsal. Yes. A 1940s singing chanteuse. Yes, and the femme fatale. Ooh, and we'll just have to find out the rest when we come and see it. Yes. Fine, and you, Jason? How did I get started in the theater department here at Long Beach City College? I'd love to know. Uh, I'm sure you were. That's where you're at. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I got started here um, after I won a, a storytelling competition here in Long Beach. Uh, Long Beach searches for the greatest storyteller. I won that in 2012. Um, and kind of bumbled around taking a few different acting classes here and there uh, until I finally auditioned for a play at the Garage Theater here in Long Beach and uh, uh, for, um, excuse me, the Three Penny Opera. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I had so much fun doing that that I decided that I needed to, I wanted to get better and I wanted to learn more. And so I came here to the Long Beach City College Theater Department and uh, I was cast in Seven Redneck Cheerleaders last season and had a blast doing that. And now I'm lucky enough to be playing Charlie in the production we're doing now, Kill Me Deadly. Very good. And uh, have you felt uh, welcome here being a, uh, uh, a disabled Navy vet? Uh, yes, I, I have. I've uh, received quite a bit of uh, support from the Veterans Office and from the, the professors here, from the staff here. It's been uh, uh, very welcoming. It's made, made my trans transition from um, the military service to the civilian world uh, easier, cleaner. Good. Thank you. Good. Has it been helpful? It's been very helpful. Uh, it's, it's great to go from being, uh, from serving to now creating, to being part of a, a creative process and, and being able to uh, kind of give back, give more to uh, the country that I, I fought for and defended. Sounds good to me. Paige, being a, a native daughter of Long Beach, uh, how do you find your experience here? Pretty fantastic. <laughs> good. Why? <laughs> well, I've made a lot of friends here, and I've become very happy here. And I never, if you would have asked me like two years ago if I would have been in place, I would have said no. Last thing on your mind. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah? Yeah. I actually was a film major when I first came here. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I took a bunch of film classes and a screenwriting class. And then I had to take the Theater Arts 1 class to transfer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I liked it so much that I wanted to take more. And then I auditioned for Moby Dick Rehearsed, and I got a part. The only girl part, which I was pretty surprised. Pretty amazing that you played a young black boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Quite successful, yeah. I might add. Good. So are you looking uh, to, to have a, a good time with the current production of Kill Me Deadly? I am. It's been a blast. And you are? I am Ida. I am his gal Friday. Mm. 
the, the detective's right arm. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> good to good to know. And uh, Jeffrey. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you here? You know, I ask myself that often. <laughs> <laughs> but every so often, other often, I'm, I'm reminded that uh, that this stuff is fun. Uh, you know, being on stage and acting in front of people, I. I've never had as much fun doing anything, I don't think, is, is, is as much fun as I'm having now. Is that? Is yeah. that? Yeah. 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 That's grammatical. We understand. Correct. Absolutely. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, but yeah, um, in high school, I, that's, I, I think that's my first uh, theater type experience. I took a drama class, mm -hmm. and that was really fun. But I came to college, to this college specifically, as a business major. And, um, I took a Tart 1 class just, you know, to rel relive some, you know, nostalgia from high school, and then uh, I was hooked. I, I instantly changed my major. Like, I, I don't know. So you are a declared theater arts major? I am a declared As I believe all of you are uh, yes, so yes. far. Oh, yeah. There we are. Uh-huh. And, um, and your role in this? I play Henry, one of the thugs. Oh, that's such an ugly word. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say you, you're engaged in organized crime? Sure. Oh, yeah. That sounds cleaner, that's, doesn't it? That does. That All does. Right. Uh, Mr. Siegel, I believe, is your immediate employer. Yeah. 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 Very good. All right, then. And uh, our next victim, Kevin, what brought you to us? Uh, well, I started off as a history major here, and then uh, I took a theater arts one class with Hal Landon, and mm -hmm. I immediately fell in love with theater. I, uh, the next semester, I took a, the improv class with yourself, Greg. And, oh, uh, I do recall. Yeah, <laughs> it was fun times, and I think because of that, I, uh, after I talked to you, 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 you gave me a part in Moby Dick, and that's what kind of sprung from there, you know, this eternal life of fun. And, and what a part it was. <laughs> it was, it was Tashtego. It was uh, the first time I've ever been shirtless on stage, and I enjoyed every minute of it. <laughs> did it change your life, Kevin? <laughs> yes, it did. It did. Uh, it's, it's one of those things where you say it often, it's a playhouse, so go out there and play. Glad and that's something it. that I love about it. And you're currently playing? I'm currently playing Louis, uh, the other thug. for partners in crime. We are. Oh, that word again. I'm sorry, <laughs> a, a knee breaking aficionado. <laughs> there we are. Hey. You're, you're studying anatomy. A lovable one. Courtesy yeah, of lovable. Bugsy Siegel. I right? am lovable. <laughs> Fantastic. And in love. Yes. But we'll find out. Good, thank you. And you, Kenny. Yes. You are, you are our marketing engineer and, and right also now. actor extraordinaire. Yes. So uh, do tell, what brought you to us? Well, you know, I just, I'm always around in theater. Like when I, well, when I first started in college, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. But then I remember I used to be in love with films and movies and shows back in high school. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to try theater class. And I remember taking your TARP 1 class. It was pretty interesting. And That's then, diplomatic. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, uh, then that same semester you had a show called Wild Oats. So I auditioned for that. And yes, you did. Got and casted look, as a bartender. And what happened? You know, I got casted in my first show, and it was amazing. You were amazing. You uh, put up a lot of abuse. Hey, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. And then, you know, every semester I just keep on doing it, and I just love everything that has to do with theater on stage, backstage, and then even doing some filming stuff as well. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yes, indeed. You're you're in you're comfortable both on and off stage, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Uh, this is a question for everyone, and. Uh, what we'd like to know is this, imagine right now someone who's never experienced any theater in any college anywhere. What makes this place the place you want to be? Kevin? The level of security you feel when you walk into a classroom, you don't feel like you're walking into, you know, a lecture hall, you're walking into someone's, it almost feels like you're walking into someone's living room and they're like, all right, let's go play. Here's some, you know, and you, you teach in a way where it's not only fun, but it's educational, and it's something that will always stay in your mind. You, there's certain quotes that the whole faculty have that will never leave me because of the way you guys explain it to us, and the real world factors that you guys bring in with you as your experience, that gives us motivation to say, look, they came from the same places that we did. We have similar backgrounds and stories. Why can he make it and I can't? Let's do it and get there. And you guys are very helpful with getting us to that point. To, yeah, to his point, absolutely, I think it's uh, definitely advantageous to have, uh, to have working actors as pro pro professors here. Mm -hmm. People with real, real world experience uh, who are helping us to get out into the world and, and really foster uh, developing our careers in, in the field of theater and in the field of acting here. And uh, I mean, and then on top of that, Long Beach is so, um, 
you know, perfectly located. Uh, it's diverse. Uh, it's so diverse. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But like I the, think we're looking at a group of diversity <laughs> yeah. right here. <laughs> I'm very proud of one thing, and I think you all represent that. More than anything, as a professional, I cut my teeth with a man named Joe Papp. And Joseph Papp was the founder of the New York Shakespeare Festival and also the concept of what we call rainbow casting. That is, I don't care what race or creed you are, if you can act the role, you've got the role. And this reflects that right now. This is what I believe is our future. And as show business is show art, we're doing the best of both. And I think you all represent that. And it's important you know that, and it's important the public knows that. Anything you'd like to impart to them as, uh, as we wrap this up? Come Besides to come see the show. Yeah, yeah, come, <laughs> see the show yeah. come join the theater department and have yeah. some fun with us. Yeah. Yeah. If you've never done it, try it. You can't say that you don't like it until you've tried something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You get to do something on stage, mess up. It's good to mess up on stage in class. So, mm -hmm. And you never know. You might get something good in, a, in the next production or something. Just go out and try it. Jeffrey? You know, um... I love calling you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Most people usually do. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm so off guard. Um, <laughs> That's part of your charm, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and the irony is you're so confident and relaxed on stage. It's staggering. Yeah. It, it's just awesome. I, uh, hello, friends. <laughs> <laughs> How much you pay to anything? <laughs> Um, it's a great place to learn, especially if you've never been in this business before. Everyone learns at their own pace, and you get to meet a lot of great people along the way, and be in a lot of great productions, and just, I think it's a confidence booster. I hope so. Yeah. Absolutely. Jason? For anybody. Um, I have to say that, that uh, what I love most about the about the theater department here is the sense of community that you get, as opposed to any other majors. I was an English major to to, to start with, and and writers are a very solitary group. And uh, to to come in here, and I, I feel like I know the names of nearly anybody who's enrolled in theater classes right now, and they all know my name, and I know all of the professors, and and uh, it's tr really just a, a welcoming and warm place to be and to build and to grow and to become uh, a better human being and a better student and a better actor. Melissa? Off that, I, I was always really, really, really shy and really soft-spoken until I started. <laughs> I know. Until I still get like that. <laughs> I still get like that sometimes. But um, this, this whole department, the love that's in this department it, it's helped me open up and be more outgoing and audition for stuff like right. this. Good, <laughs> good. Well, we regard you as our future and so should the community. So take that to heart and know that uh, you're just passing the baton to another group when you all transfer and hit your university stride. So uh, we thank you for that. We thank you for your honesty. And uh, we all, we all should have a great time with Kill Me Deadly. That's oh, yeah. the next one coming up. So uh, we hope to see uh, we hope to see you lovely people there as well, and we'll give you the dates, and you'll see our graphics in just a moment. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Thank you.